So we've defined data and said that data can come from two types of information, places. It can come from a census, which is the whole population, or it can come from a sample, which is just a subset of that population. Now, when you take this data and you report it out, it's either referred to as a parameter or a statistic, depending upon whether this data was a census or sample data. So the definition of a parameter is a value describing a population. Remember, you should have paused and written this down. So in terms of a population, that means I had census data, and when I report it out, it's referred to as a parameter. Otherwise, if I was using a sample, when I report it out, it's called a statistic. A statistic is a value describing a sample. Now, in terms of defining these and remembering these, it can be a little confusing since we have census is a param gives you a parameter and sample gives you a statistic. But actually, you can kind of play with those letters. P equals parameter equals population. So we've got that to remember parameter and S equals statistics and S equals sample. So hopefully that'll help you keep those straight. Now let's look at two examples down below. The first example is after grading the first 10 out of 35 tests, there were three A's and three out of 10 tests is 30%. So I report out that I have 30% of the tests have A's. Would this be a parameter or a statistic? It's a statistic. The reason it's a statistic is that if you remember, I have to know what my population is first. And although I did define the population as this class, we didn't know how many students were there, but it does say out of 35 tests. And since 10 is not all of the 35, I have a sample. So therefore, my 30% number is a statistic. And in the second case, once the whole class is graded, there were 23 A's. This is a parameter because I've said the whole class was graded. Now, when it comes to a statistic, you're always looking for some sort of key word. So I give some examples here. You'll see the word sample, a few, some, a portion of, whatever it is. But like, look at the example below. Numerous classes are surveyed, and it turns out the average class size is 47. This is a statistic. The way I know it's a statistic is the key word, numerous. Didn't say all classes were surveyed, it just said numerous, meaning a lot, but that didn't mean all of them.